Trying to enjoy it? Jazz gas, no? Jazz gas. Yeah, of course, as much gas as possible. I, I'm here to try to win, so I know the guys are also here to win, so I'm really looking forward. I mean, it's next to Armbar for me, the most important race of the year, and yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to be back in Girona. I used to live here for five years, left it after my work career, and now back for gravel. It's quite nice here. Yeah. Okay, Andrea. <laughs> As usual, the guys from Sven take care of my bike because um, I was traveling a lot with it, and I think the tripod was was not really straight. So just fixing that, so that the gears are working perfectly for tomorrow, and that's it, basically. Just a usual checkup, seeing the doctor, the Sven doctor. Oh, okay. No, I agree. I trust you. Nice. Nice, nice. Thank you. Okay, we'll be here just in case if you want to yeah, yeah. try. Also, wie bist du technisch? Schon die Konzile kosten sind dann. Also, ich fahre 2.2 und 2.3. Okay. Um, das ist ja auch die 200, oder? Ja, ja. Würde ich dir. Ja, wenn du vorne 2.3 und 2.4 müsstest, dann passen. Okay. Weniger würde ich nicht machen, weil ja. es dann. Also, manchmal ist das Gefühl ein bisschen zu hart, aber du hast schon ja, ziemlich viele Sachen mit dabei. Steine, oder? Ja, genau. Und gerade hier das Ende, ja. Ja, und ganz ehrlich, das meiste ist meistens eh flach ja. und schnell sein, von daher. 2, 3, 2, 4 solltest du okay, selbst sein. Gerne. Viel Glück morgen. Ich bin so gespannt. Fuck, I had a in text and cough. Hey everyone, we are in Girona, Catalonia, Spain for Traca. Uh, Traca is the first major gravel race of the year and uh, I've probably the biggest European gravel race beside Gravel World Championships and uh, has different race courses like from 50, 100 Ks to 200 which I do, and 360, which is the original, the Traca, so the OG version, which I'm, or well, I decided, well, which I decided not to do because it's just too long. It takes 14 to 15 hours. So that's why I said, right, let's go for the race option, which is around six and a half to seven hours, so the 200K version. I used to live in Girona for five years doing my road career. And uh, when I stepped end of 16, I moved back to Germany, Potsdam and Berlin. And yeah, now I'm back in Girona as a gravel professional. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's good to be here. I uh, have seen many old faces from, from the past. And um, yeah, it's nice to be back in town, but I have to say it has changed quite a lot. Uh, it's really busy, but uh, yeah, the roads are still beautiful and uh, even more gravel roads have been discovered in the in the recent time and yeah I'm really looking forward to the event. Tonight I will just eat a big bowl of oats and a banana because I ate already like a big plate of pasta for lunch. So I want something different. Um, and then in the morning I have to wake up at five because at seven is the start. I will just eat a normal bowl of uh, oats and uh, nothing special, also not too much otherwise my stomach is just blown. And then around 6.20, I will go to the start line. So my tactic is basically um, to split the race in three to four parts. Um, right from the start, we have like a quite technical uh, section with like uh, steep little hills with loose underground. And um, there it's really important to be in front. So my goal is to go there full gas and to be in first position or at least uh, first three positions to be able to take my own line and pass over the hills in the, yeah, in the front to not unclip and then walking up these steep hills which will cost a lot of time and in the end you have to close gaps so I rather invest there a lot of energy to be in front than uh, yeah, struggling. Then you have like a really long part which is mainly flat uh, and quite fast 
then after 100, so that's the second part, then after 100, yeah, 20 k's, you have like an 8k climb, off road climb, with like steps, so you're going up, yeah, like steps, and um, it's, it's a quite tough one, because there it's also, at least in the recon, it was quite hot, so the heat really stayed there, there was like no wind, and some some bits were really steep, so um, uh, yeah, I'm really, I really want to go there all in because I think I have to make there a decision if I see really the only possibility for possibility for me to split up the race in this 8k section uphill. But we will see <laughs> what what will happen. But uh, I'm really looking forward and uh, yeah, feel feel quite good, rested. So I used the Obea Terra. I got it in a new color. Uh, I have the Swam Red Axis Explorer on it. A 48 tooth chainring in the front, um, one by. And in the back, 10 to 44 Kazat. Then I used the Zip 353 NSW wheels, which are extremely light and fast. Then the Schwalbe G1AS in 40 millimeters with like 2.2 and 2.3 uh, bar pressure. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's it. I try to get 120 grams an hour into my body and as tomorrow it will be hot I take the power cup heat I think there's a bit of like stuff in it when it's hot <laughs> so my goal is to get 750 milliliters an hour of hydration that's why I have two bottles with me at the start, which is one and a half liters plus hydration bag with either one and a half liters or two liters. So that should bring me four hours or should give me four hours of, uh, of hydration. And the point where the feed zone is where I want to get two new bottles is after 130 Ks, which means around four hours. And from that point on, it's around two to two and a half hours left of racing, and there should be fine with like two fresh bottles. Yeah, that's the plan.
Okay, so we've just stopped at uh, kilometer 157, uh, waiting for Paul. He passed by, he, seemed, he looked pretty good, I would say. Um, he has more than two minutes gap, so hopefully he'll be able to hold it until the end, if not extend the lead. Uh, we are heading now to the next uh, feeding area, making sure he has what he needs in terms of uh, water and nutrition. And uh, yeah, after that we'll head towards the finish and uh, hopefully we'll have to celebrate. Just hit one of the stones, like in the into the rim, on the on the side. So and I tried to pluck it. So I was basically riding five k's with like no tire, and then uh, everything broke down here, like one k to go, and I just started running. day for the travel group Schiff Foss. We got our first double win. Uh, Carol won the women's race and I did, uh, I did win the men 
and yeah, I think uh, can't be can't be any better. But uh, I don't know to give a rundown on the course was on it. Well, I'd say not on the course. I think we did that already. But uh, at least on my on my tactic, um, I had the plan like to start uh, quite hard, which I didn't have to do because the others did it for me. Uh, because the first bit was quite tricky and uh, loose underground, um, so I tried to stay in front, which, uh, which was successful, and then saving energy until mid race. Uh, around 90 k's ago, we had a long climb around 8 k's, which was also the hardest one of the day. There, I did uh, halfway up my attack, which was planned. Uh, yeah, and then, yeah, I got a gap. The gap got even bigger. I could stay away. I I got a nice puncture 5k to go in a in a rocky single trail. There I yeah punctured and I couldn't fix the puncture because the rim was damaged as well. So the air yeah didn't stay in the tire. Therefore I had to ride 4k through the rock garden, which was quite fun. Just running on the rim on a carbon rim. 1k to go the Finally, the, the tire came off, and then uh, yeah, the rim exploded, and I had to run the last K, which made for a nice, nice story. I almost had the same ta tactic as Paul. Um, uh, very important for me was as well to be um, yeah to be safe in the beginning and avoid crashes. But yeah, in general, it was the same tactic like. Uh, going hard in the beginning that was already done by all the others uh, the uh, start was really fast um, then have a good group in the middle of the race because it was almost flat and you can hang on the wheel and then attack in the climb and that worked out very well for me so I was uh, yeah almost alone after the climb and pushed it to the to the finish and was able to win then the women's race <laughs> I think you can say it's like it's like in Europe the trucker is I think at the moment maybe the biggest and most important gravel race besides like the whole UCI stuff but um, they are much shorter huh? I mean we did yesterday six to seven hours racing and um, therefore yeah, it's at least for me I think for Carlos well like a big relief to, to have the first big win in the bag yes before traveling to the US and try to get some more wins <laughs> over there. <laughs> Hopefully. <Yeah. laughs> but no, it uh, was, was a really good uh, few days here and uh, yeah, really successful race. Yeah. And also everything around the race is really nice here. It's just true gravel. I think it's, uh, yeah, all the people are really kind and also the behavior um, for, for women is also really, really nice. They are, um, really is respect um, also our effort, which is sometimes missing in other races. Nothing to add. Top Girona.